Hey, it's Luke and welcome to Savoring Spirits, a show where we discover, learn, and taste spirits from around the world and then review them and give them a score out of 10 because we're looking for the best in the universe. That's right. How do we do that? Well, we take our spirit of the day, we pour it into our official tasting glass from Whiskey Run Golf Club. We smell, we taste, and we see what the finish is like. And then we, we give it a score at a 10. That's right. And that's how it's done. We use those three points to give our score. Today, we've got Centennial Rye Whiskey. Centennial, Canadian Rye Whiskey from Highwoods Distillers in Alberta. In Alberta, Canada. High River, Alberta. So this is a rye whiskey out of Alberta. And let's, uh, let's get right to it. Shall we? Okay, we're opening up brand new bottle. Here it comes. Oh, we gotta find out how much it was, right? So, this guy, 750 mils, 40% alcohol, and it is only $27.75. $27.75, that's pretty, that's on the lower end. Okay, we'll see how it goes. One of the key things with uh, the bottles is what kind of pop it gives once you pull the cork off. Does it give a nice pop? That's key. Let's see. Oh, that was actually a quality pop. Quality pop without spilling on myself. Okay, let's pour a little bit into our whiskey tasting glass. Now we're gonna smell. Gonna pull it away. Let it sit for a second. Smell again. Pull it away. Then smell again. And pull it away. Now what are we getting off this? We're getting a little bit of, a little oakiness. That's a word, right? Oakiness? Yeah. Getting an oaky, not really over any overpowering smell. Sometimes you let it sit for a second, it'll actually change, and you can get a little bit more of the smells. Yeah, maybe like a um, like a mild fruit. So very light. Not not much going on. You can smell a little bit of the oak. Well, let's let's taste it. And find out. Really light. Really light. Smooth. Um, for a rye whiskey, it doesn't really have that spice that that kick which uh, you can go overboard on some. Some go really spicy, really got the rye kick to it. This one, not so much, really level. It's decent. Yeah, you can get a little hints of vanilla, hints of like dry fruit, like a dried fruit. What am I thinking about? Ah, it's on the tip of my tongue, but like a, a dry, a dried fruit, like not an apricot, but something like along that lines. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, really light, a light one. Um, finish, same. You get a little bit of that kick in the back, but not much going on. Um, very easy drinking. This would be, yeah, I don't. Hmm, let me try it one more time. And we gotta give this thing a score out of 10. Um, really light, I mean the price is good, 27.75, that's a good price, but it's just not a lot of, uh, not a lot, not a lot going on there. I'm gonna give it a 6.4. 6.4 for the Centennial out of High River, Alberta. It's decent, easy drinking. Uh, you could use it for probably uh, mixing and stuff like that. Not, uh, I'd probably want something just a little bit better if I'm gonna sit around and sip on it. But 6.4, there you have it. The Centennial Whiskey. Remember, enjoy responsibly and 
May we be more dogs think we are. Cheers.